So how do we get joy at work, and what is joy at work? First of all, there is the joy of working itself. And I have joy in working. And getting into it, heart and soul. Interesting how in Colossians 3, Paul says to the slaves, put your heart into it, get into it. And not just when your master's eye is on you. The Greek word is ophthalmic, from which we get the English word ophthalmology, or an eye doctor. So people sometimes are kind of eye doctor people. <laughs> they only work when somebody's, the boss's eye is on them. Now, my dad, as I told you, was president of a company, and I worked in that company in everything except being president. If I were Asian, I could have become president, but I didn't, okay? So I worked out the back. I worked on punch presses. I worked in the tool room. I worked in the warehouse. I got really dirty and all the rest, and I also worked in the office, but I noticed that my dad every day would come out of the office and come out into the factory part and the warehouse part and he would talk to every employee. Uh, yesterday you told me your wife was quite ill. Is she doing better, you know? And he did this. He loved his employees and really cared for them. But I noticed that as soon as he came out of the office into the back, everybody became very busy. They really worked hard. And as soon as he went back into the office and the door closed, they stopped working. They pulled out their Coca-Colas and their Playboy magazines, and they just kind of stopped working. And Paul says to the Colossian slaves, he said, not just when your master's eye is on you, but from the heart and soul. So there is a joy in working. And uh, I'm just so thankful I can work. And it's, it's joyful to me. But there's no perfect fit this side of heaven. None. There's no perfect fit this side of heaven. 